What's going on everyone, this is Dr. Gunnel here from Octagon Gaming. Now we are back with our Eric Fisher player career mode as he will be making his NFL debut today. He was drafted 15th overall in the 2021 NFL Draft by the Patriots, but he ended up getting traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers and he's actually being reunited with his former tight end Jackson Kelly. So we'll still have Fisher to Kelly connections. Their opponent today is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals have two former Illini players, and they are Melvin Washington and Aaron Burns. So let's see how this one's going to go. It is Monday Night Football in Cincinnati. It's going to be the Steelers and the Bengals battling it out in Paul Brown Stadium. As it is pretty much pitch black outside, we get to see the debut of new Steelers quarterback Eric Fisher. One of the greatest college football players of all time. He has the most touchdowns in the history of college football, or at least passing touchdowns. He has the fifth most passing yards in college football history. He has the third best passer rating. Two national championships, and he should have two Heisman trophies, but for reasons he doesn't. In Pittsburgh, he has a plethora of, of weapons, including Le'Veon Bell being shown right there. He also has Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster, James Washington, and his former college teammate, Jackson Kelly. Fisher and Kelly get to reunite as they take on Cincinnati. Eric Fisher was a projected top five pick, but he fell all the way to number 15 this year in the 2021 NFL Draft. Second down and 10, Fisher scrambling. His first career pass will be overthrown for Brown. Third down and 10, will Fisher get the first down or will the Bengals get the stop? They can't offer Bell, Fisher, he will find Juju Smith-Schuster, but he loses the football. Great pass by Fisher, but Juju dropped. Bengals were able to score a touchdown. Can Pittsburgh match that? The Steelers' first drive was not really pretty. Fisher. He will be sacked on first down. It's pounds. It is second down and 16 after the sack. Bell is for running back in the backfield. Fisher is going to look to pass it. Fisher. Fisher will run with it. His first career run. After a nice run by Eric Fisher, it's third down and four. Will the Steelers get the first down? Fisher looking short for Brown. Brown with a first. That first down conversion from Fisher to Brown was Eric Fisher's first career passing completion and hopefully the first of many. Second down and one. Fisher is going to look deep for Jackson Kelly, his college teammate. Those two did that a lot back at Illinois. The Steelers now have it at the 10-yard line as Eric Fisher is looking really solid this drive. First down and pretty much goal. And up for Le'Veon Bell. Bell gets by a couple of blockers and gets to the 1. It is second down and 10 at the 30. The Steelers were only able to kick a field goal in that previous possession despite getting to the 1-yard line. Fisher, he will be sacked. He was trying to run with it, but Radway will get to him. Third down and 17. Will the Steelers get the challenging conversion? Fisher. He's going to look deep down the field. It's for Antonio Brown, and Brown hauls it in. And Antonio Brown will bring it to the 20. It is second down and 10 at the 20. About seven minutes left here in the first half. Fisher. Scrambling. He will look for Jackson Kelly, and Eric Fisher's first career passing touchdown will come to who else but Jackson Kelly. I'm not sure if his first career passing touchdown in Illinois went to Jackson Kelly, but, I mean, it could have. The Bengals were able to kick a field goal, so now we're tied up at 10. Fisher on first down. He's under pressure. It's going to be Carl Lawson. The Steelers are going no huddle. They need as much time as they can get. Fisher. He's going to be sacked again, and we have writ the two-minute warning. Nearing the end of the first half, the Bengals were able to score a touchdown, making it 17-10. to Now we're in the second half, as Fisher scrambling. He sees open field, so he's going to run with it, and Fisher will get about 10 before getting hit hard. Second down in 10 at the 31, Bell and Fisher in the backfield, as Fisher looking to pass it, has time. He will run with it. He's being chased, but he gets a first down on the ground. I think the Steelers' offense will be doing a lot better if Le'Veon Bell wasn't struggling. He has eight carries for only about 23 yards. First down, Fisher. Scrambling, he's going to look. And he will be intercepted by William Jackson. Eric Fisher never threw a lot of interceptions in his college career. He only had about 23 in his whole four-year career. 
It's Fisher on first down. He will look for Jackson Kelly. Kelly will bring it to the 41. Cincinnati scored a touchdown after the interception, but I'm guessing they turned it over because the Steelers are starting at the 6-yard line. Pittsburgh cannot screw this up. Short pass for Bell, but he loses 8 yards. Well, it actually counts as a run. Pittsburgh can't be satisfied with anything not called a touchdown. Second down and goal. They can all Fisher. Scrambling. He's going to try to run with it. And Eric Fisher will get his first career rushing touchdown. Bengals kicked a field goal. It's now 27-17. Eric Fisher is the type of guy you want when you need to come back, however. Fisher sacked on first down. It's Carl Lawson, his third of the game. Cincinnati has eight sacks, and they also have 34 points. I think we know how this one will end. Third down. Screen for Bell. He loses two. That is how this game ends. This one was dominated by the Bengals. Eric Fisher went 11 for 20, about 180 yards or so, with a passing touchdown and a pick. He also had eight carries for 70 yards and a rushing touchdown. That'll end today's episode. Next episode will be against the Oakland Raiders. Most episodes will be two games, but since I'm going on vacation soon, I need as much videos as I can get. I'm out. Peace. I'm a Bobby girl in the Hey, hey, man!